Welcome back and now for our second helping of our special Saturday morning edition of Hey Watch This and we'll start with a highway overpass. It may not sound thrilling, but this one's a little different than what you would usually see. This one is for the fauna. In an effort to reduce accidents involving wildlife on a busy highway in Utah, they built this bridge, covered it with rocks, pebbles and logs back in 2018. Now, wildlife officials initially said it would probably take several years for the animals like moose, deer and bears to notice it and adjust to it and start to use it to cross the road. But the animals, they say, started crossing back in 2019 and they released this compilation of the different types of animals who are using this to get safely over across the highway. I think it was a bobcat or a lynx going down on the bottom right there. No, no wild kingdom like shots. We didn't have any confrontations there on the bridge. I was going to say it's only a matter of time before that is a, a bottleneck in 4 p.m. on a Saturday. That's just going to be jammed full of moose and <laughs> bears and what have you. The local equivalent of Kristen Lores is going to have to do animal traffic, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this next one is an update to one of the stories we featured here last week about a little hitchhiker continuing the animal theme. When the massive Christmas tree at Rockefeller Plaza uh, got there, a truck driver spotted a baby owl inside of it and we told you last week the wildlife officials believe the owl was likely trapped in the tree when it was tied up for transport. The owl went at least three days without food or water and they named her Rocky after Rockefeller and brought it back to health. On Tuesday, Rocky was released at the Ravensbeard Wildlife Center, which is between Albany and New York City. Very cool. Nice little living ornament until they put the other ones on there. And then finally closing out Hey Watch this week, we're going to say, you know, Hey Watch this on Tuesday as we're talking about an incredible milestone for one of CBS's soap operas. Young and the Restless has been on the air since 1973. And on Tuesday, the show will broadcast its 12,000th episode. And it's going to be a special one, as you can expect, lots of drama. And chances are that uh, Chance and Abby are getting married. An old fan favorite character is returning in time to attend the ceremony. We're not going to give much away to spoil the episode. The Young and the Restless airs weekdays on CBS 6 right after the news at noon. Nice. And we appeased the CBS guide, uh, gods by plugging one of the programs. Absolutely. Meanwhile, one of our local programs coming up now with uh, Goldie. Are we expecting a cat or dog this hour? I'm going to guess dog this time. All right. So here's Mike Goldberg with our Pause for Pets. Good morning. Meet Sophie, adoptable from the Richmond Animal League. Now that she has successfully raised her own family, Sophie is looking for a lap to curl up on and lots of attention for herself. She is a sweet cuddle bug who purrs when she is held. As much as she loves to snuggle and relax, she also loves playing and running around when the inspiration strikes. Sophie is a fabulous young adult cat with the perfect mix of playful and cuddly and will be a wonderful companion. If you're interested in Sophie, please send an email to adopt at rel.org. I'm Mike Goldberg with this morning's Pause for Pets.